Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Eve Exploration, and welcome to Tip It. Uh, where we left off last time, we were putting up sovereignty. So this video was a little delayed by about two days due to the fact of Halloween, and kids came to my door like crazy, and I just didn't have the time for it. On the first, I just ran out of time in my day, and here it is. I'm uploading this on the second, but anyway here it is so now that your alliance owns sovereignty and you have a safe pass up in the system uh... so we want to make sure you have this we're doing this in the UT itag uui5 system that i use in my most of my videos so as you can see when i place sovereignty my alliance name is up here dark universal alliance now when i click that uh... you should be able to see industry and all this uh, right now you don't really have to worry about constellation region world and changes don't worry about that what you want to come down is you want to go down to development system itac uui5 strategic you want to make sure this is a one if you don't have that it look like industry with no bars in it you want to have this at one so you can place down what you need so you could place the oops I didn't mean to undock uh, so before we even go that you wanna make sure you have an infrastructure hub in your freighter now keep in mind you can only do this in a freighter yes I had to train for a freighter I had to uh, I used my unallotted skill points instead of changing, training back for my carrier I had to train backwards into Mimitar industrial in order to do this uh, jump freighters they d they cannot put any of this inside. They can't put it in. Uh, also, uh, Roracles can't. Titans can't. Only freighters. So the Galente freighter, the Obelisk, the what? Wait, 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 I'm probably gonna get this wrong. I just have to check. The Obelisk, the Finfer, I think it's called. The Providence and the Charon can only do it. The best freighter for upgrading systems is the Charon as you I think this may have changed but you need level 2 f freighter the freighter skill let me check uh, yeah you need uh, so it'll be Keldari freighter skill bonus you want that I think it's level 2 so that you can place things because it gets a better car cargo capacity but same skills apply usually just different skilling for the uh, what's it called the freighter that you want so now here's your infrastructure hub this is used to place upgrades so this is how one of it looks it's 18 kilometers and takes an hour to, it takes one hour to like anchor and then takes an hour and one minute to online so yeah uh, the capacity you don't really have to worry about this it this has to be in null sec and you have to have your sovereignty so now uh, this is per purchasable under the starbase and sovereignty structures you just go to sovereignty structures infrastructure hubs and there's only one now depending on where you live this could cost co uh, a lot I recommend either building it out in null sec if you plan to have the system for a while keep in mind in order to flip a system so in case let's just use the example uh, NC dot wants to come and take my system uh, they, would, they, they would have to first off place sovereignty blockade units at the gate we only have one gate so that's a little inconvenient so only one would be needed then they would have to kill the infrastructure hub then they would have to move on to the station and TCU in that order maybe a different order depending on your fleet but anyway so now let's go out and anchor this thing keep in mind freighters are slow so they're not necessarily the best for null sec travel you don't want to be going 10 jumps in null sec with them alright now that you're undocked you want to find a planet the planet it could be any planet as long as it doesn't have a station around it. 
So we're just gonna right click, go planets, and we're gonna go to the very first planet, warp within zero. We're just gonna go ahead, warp to the planet. Okay, it's gonna be a big long turn. And we're gonna anchor it and online it. Now, the point point of the infrastructure hub is to be able to place upgrades in your system. So you you can go sovereign uh, pots and sovereignty structures, sovereignty structures, infrastructure upgrades. You want to go there, and here's everything. Uh, we're not really too concerned about pirates. As this is a test server. I'm not just gonna go ratting for the fun of it. Industrial. I'm not a miner, so I'm not gonna keep the mining level up. Well, I am a miner, but anyway, uh, we want strategic. So each one requires a different level. Super capital construction facilities is what we're going to be installing. Sino suppression and all that is up to you. Sino suppression, oh, sorry, sinusoidal suppression, sinusoidal navigation, advanced logistics network is all up to you. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll be installing super capital construction facilities. Uh, this, you also need a freighter. Keep the, keep in mind the volume that it takes up. Uh, this upgrade allows alliances to anchor capital ship assembly rays and capital ship maintenance rays at their star bases in a solar system. Now, like we went off and we put up our pass. Now, keep in mind we can't do that because our pass is a small pass and the amount of power grid and CPU that they both need is not available in that pass. All right, so here here we are. We landed at the planet. Now we're just going to open up our cargo bay. Simple. Open up cargo bay. Click on it. Launch for corporation. Like you do with all other stuff. Now, here it is. Infrastructure hub. What you want to do, you just want to right click it. Anchor structure. Now this has to be uh, 50 kilometers away from your ship so we're just gonna go forward we're gonna go just give or take like right there anchor here so there you go now it's anchoring and this is how it's look it'll look once in space so this is your infrastructure hub it'll take about an hour to online and anchor so it needs about two hours Make sure that if you're going to warp in and warp out to it, make sure that you save its location. Infrastructure hub, hubs, I'm just going to go hub, and then I'm going to type in the system name. UITAC UUI5. There. Now we're just going to submit that and warp to the station. Alright, so now that your iHub is anchored and online, what you want to do is you want to dock at a station or do something where you could go and buy it. Preferably to buy these in JIDA or any kind of trading hub. As I'm on the test server doing all this, I have it seeded for me. So what you want to do is go down to Starbase and Sovereignty Structures. Sovereignty Structures, Infrastructure Upgrades. And now you want to pick Strategic, Military, or Industrial, depending on your level. For this sake, we're going to be upgrading strategic, as we, hence the name, it's level 1. My military was 5, it went down, as I don't rat in the system. So we're going to find what one is level 1. I know for a fact, super capital construction facilities is level 1. So uh, it says this upgrade allows alliances to anchor capital ship assembly rays and capital ship maintenance rays at their star bases in a solar system. So what you want to do is just click that, buy it, yeah, buy. Okay. So now when we go to our cargo, there it is. Show info. Uh, I just read the description. Let me just make this a little bigger. Too big. There. Uh, the volume is 200,000 so you need a freighter and daily upkeep costs is 1 million alright I didn't pay my sovereignty bills for November I'm bad but anyway uh, so see my sovereignty bill 84 million 84 million 
This one, the top one, let me just expand my wallet. This one's for LTAC C, ITAC UU. Alright, so now we're just going to load this to, into our freighter and undock this beast. Alright, when we undock, we want to warp within right up to our, how do you call it, iHub. Infrastructure hubs warp within zero. Alright, now if you guys did notice, I'm not in ITAC UU anymore. For the reason being is that I am not really into, I, I didn't have the time to go and online my iHub. I know it only takes an hour and I could have done this AFK, but I didn't have the terminal log on until today. So for that, I had to use LTAC C where I uh, anchored and onlined a hub earlier. So that's another reason. Also, uh, I'm s the music may be a little louder than in usual videos. I'm sorry about that. I had Windows 8 and I didn't. I just didn't like it. So I reinstalled com my computer with Windows 7 and I got it back. So this is why the music may be a little different and all that. My settings may not be tweaked perfectly. So this video may be different than the others. And my driver crashed. Magnificent. Alright, so now that's out of the way. I found this kind of awkward. I log in and I'm at my iHub. And if you guys remember when I my driver crashed, I was at the station. So, a little weird thing. But, anyway, we'll just continue with the tutorial. As you can see, it says invulnerable. So, no alliance can attack this once it's online. Unless they place sovereignty blockade units at all these gates well half of them all right so not that you're at your iHub you want to click it and then go open infrastructure hub manager so open that and it will tell you where you are with your levels and it'll tell you all the levels you need and whether it's going down or going up my military and industry aren't high because I don't mind and it takes a lot of ore to be pulled out of the system and if you have a major alliance the ratting will easily go up top. Alright so now we can go to strategic and it says XXX XXX circle. Do we have the requirements for this one? So there it is. Blah 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 blah. So now what we could do we have to do is open up our cargo bay just drag it in. Drag it in. Confirm non refundable install once you put it in. Installing upgrades makes them a permanent fixture of the receiving infrastructure hub. You will not be able to take them back. Ever. Furthermore, 3 million ISK will be deducted from the master division of your corporation wallet to cover the upkeep costs for the main three days of the current billing period. Are you sure you want to? Continue. Yes, we do. All right. So now bill issued. Yada yada yada. So now, as you remember, this is a default bill, 84 million. Now that we put in the super capital construction facilities, the bill went up to 80, 98 million isk. So as you can see, it does go up, and I wasn't lying there. So, but really, that's all it takes to upgrading a system. I'll probably have to go into detail about some ratting and infrastructure things, but uh, I don't really don't know if I should, like, you know. Uh, all I know is for a fact, military is for ratting and killing NPCs. Industry is mining, so there really isn't anything too big about that. So, also this little green thing means it's online. So, level 2 is Sinusoral Navigation daily upkeep cost level 2 and we are we haven't even claimed it for 30 days oh sorry 21 days not even close we are at 33 percent so it'll be a while until that but I hope this guys I hope this helps you with how to upgrade your systems and all that stuff uh, what I'm planning on doing is going on to explain about every single ship in EVE Online and their roles and some decent fits for PvP. I'm not too much of an exploration fan nowadays. I, I moved into PvP. I, I always did love the thrill of Nullsec and all that. 
of being able to fly in big fleet battles, so I'm probably just going to go through every single ship, starting from shuttles all the way up to titans, and anything in between, and they're pretty decent fits. Alright you guys, that's it for this episode of Tip It. I'll see you guys again next time, and like always, fly dangerous, peace.